what's up today I'm gonna to be doing a full live swatch video of my NARS audacious lipstick collection I have 12 of them it's one of my favorite formulas I feel like I don't mention them enough but I feel I don't know I just really truly love those lipsticks uh, I'm not gonna lie some of them that I got I ended up getting them like some of them 20% off on a NARS deal in December and I have not worn them once I think there's like three I haven't touched so bad but it's because I was kind of waiting for those colors for spring and summer because they were like super bright so I'm excited to show you these colors and to wear them in future tutorials but I figured I wanted to use natural lighting because I feel like it's going to show the true pigmentation of the lipstick itself I mean don't get me wrong I think studio lighting and my ring light and all that is bomb skis but I feel like natural lighting has just been like I don't know I like it don't you and this uh yeah I had a zit on my lip <laughs> Oh my gosh it was so annoying like Chester was just chilling on my lip and I was like picking at it and I made it kind of scar and I was kind of devastated because that was like the first time I really got like a zit like right over here and I was like oh, oh this is my first time doing live swatches just because I wanted to show you the colors and not just do um, music and voiceover kind of thing so Let's start with my first lipstick. Okay, I'm going to start with my nudes first. My very first one is Raquel, and this is one of my favorite, favorite ones. It's like one of those awesome nudes where it doesn't make you look dead. And as you can see, it's like one of those nudes that has more of a peachy undertone to it. It's really wearable, and it's one of my favorite ones. I highly recommend Raquel. My next one is Vanessa, and I haven't really worn this one. I've only swatched it once. I'm just being very honest. And this one is more of a nude with more of a mauve underneath it. And oh, these are so creamy when they go on. It's like so great. They don't bleed on the lips. And I feel like you don't need lip liners with these. I love also, I'm going to do mini reviews as I keep swatching. I love the packaging just because when you have it, it's magnetic. So say it's like turn, it'll like twist to where it's supposed to close. So I love the packaging. It's just so sleek and the formula is so creamy what I like is that it has it's really moisturizing on the lips as well they're like a matte but they're like a creamy matte where they're not so flat so that they're still moisturizing in the lips and say that your lips were chapped they're not gonna look too pretty chap chap because they're so moisturizing Anita and this is one of my favorite ones everybody was on Anna but I'll show you that one because I do have that one because everybody was on that one but I actually prefer Anita better I don't know what it is but Oh, I didn't swatch the other one, sorry. Here's Anita right there. It has more of a pinky undertone to it, and I really like it. On me, it looks more of like a mauve with like kind of like a mix of a dusty rose. I'll try my best to kind of explain these. Here, let me um, swatch Vanessa for you because I didn't swatch that one. There's Vanessa. That one looks more pink, actually. For my next one is Anna, and everybody went wild over Anna. It is a beautiful color. I don't know. I just really preferred Anita because I thought it was just, I don't know, it was a little bit more nude for me, and that's what I really liked. But this is a beautiful color. I'm not going to lie. Like, oh, I did wear this quite a bit. But like I said, when you do videos, sorry if my swatches are like, kind of off but once you do videos it's hard to like show you all the different lip colors you know that people do own like for me like I haven't shown you any of my lip collection I know I'm getting a makeup collection up soon but this is what Anna looks like I really like it It puts really nice color uh, on me it's more of a mauve with kind of like a plum undertone to it for me uh, like I said I kind of have pigmented lips so uh, I think Anna is really really beautiful though wanted to bring you just a little bit closer sorry the next one is Claudia and this one kind of got smashed and I kind of mixed it with another one but uh, this one is Claudia and it's a really nice pink uh, like I said these go on so smooth this pink really reminds me of like candy yum yum almost it's extremely bright and but the thing is is it's bright but it's not too bright where it starts looking neon. It's just bright and vivid enough. These lipsticks, they are pricey. I know that's what kind of stops people from buying them, but I'm telling you, it lasts a really long time. The quality is truly amazing. Sylvia, and I actually got this color. This color is really special to me because uh, my aunt who was I was raised to as my sister, she passed away, and just to have a product with her name on it, 
I don't know. I've only swatched it once because it was one of those things where I wasn't really sure if I wanted to wear it or not because I kind of wanted just to preserve it. But I figured I could always just purchase another one. But uh, yeah, this color is just really special to me. And so this one is Sylvia. And I love this color. It's like a true orchid. They're super, super creamy. Oh, this color is, this is one of those colors where it's like, it's a perfect orchid color. Like, this is a true orchid. Sorry, I didn't even swatch this one. And this one is Sylvia, right there. So now, my next one is one I have not tried yet. And this one's called a Janet. And this is another pink. And this is more of a deeper magenta. This is more of a true, I know, this is, I'm looking cray, huh? I guess you can say the application can be a little tedious because you want because they are so creamy what did I say this one is Janet and this one's more of a true magenta Sylvia is more of an orchid uh, but this magenta is really really more of a deep magenta I hope the camera's not it looks like it's picking up red this thing is not red it is magenta <laughs> people probably thought it looked like Miranda Julie and here is the shade right here I, this is the first time I'm trying it this is like a nice coral oh yeah but i love this color it's more of a nudie coral oh wow i can't believe i haven't tried this one yet <gasps> julie as you can see right here i don't know i was just kind of having a phase or I was getting away from orange colors and i wear them so much during spring and summer and then i don't know it's hard to try all your lip colors okay my lips are starting to kind of burn but this is another one I haven't tried. This is so bad. This is Juliet. Let's watch this baby. And here is Juliet. This is more of an orange coral. Yes, this is really vivid. Oh, I love this already. See, these, this is why I didn't wear these colors because these are truly like spring and fall color. Uh, spring and fall. Spring and summer. I'm one where I don't really put rules on my lipsticks, but certain lipsticks I'm like, let me just wait for like the season, but... This one, like I said, is Juliet. And then also let me know down below if you like these light swatches. I think they're more beneficial. I truly do because I'm kind of explaining what they are instead of just giving you the swatch. So this one is an orange coral. And, oh, it's more of a... Oh, it's more of an... Uh, no, no, no. Yeah, it's an orange coral, but it's more of an orange. <laughs> like I said, I love these orange colors. And then this one is Catherine. A little bit more of an orange. Catherine is more of an orange rather than a coral. Oh yes, this is a true orange on the lips. Orange might seem weird on the lips, but this one is one of those mid-tone where it's more of a lighter orange. It's not like a true, true orange. It has like a really nice... I don't know. It's just like a, a, a medium orange where it's very wearable and it's not too shocking because... I mean, I know what looks shocking, and maybe this looks shocking to some of you, but to me, this doesn't look shocking. And I don't know. This is a really pretty orange. This is a wearable orange. Is this video helping? Two more left. Two reds, and I love red lipstick. This one is called Annabella, and this is a really bright, bright red. I, I love bright reds with, like, kind of orange undertones to it. Uh, this has an orange undertone to it, but it's not as it's not as much as lady danger from mac if you own that one of one of those reds that are bright but it makes your teeth look so white uh-huh but i really like this red it's very bright and vivid and one of those uh like if you see the sandlot like wendy peppercorn is that her name and she's wearing this with her red uh bathing suit this is like a wendy peppercorn red there it is right there and then for my last one, it is called Rita, and I haven't tried this one yet. This one's just another red. This is a deeper red, and it doesn't have a red-orange uh, undertone to it. Whoops. Oh, my God. <laughs> this is a true red. It's not too bright, not too dark. It is a true, true red, and then I'll swatch it right next to that other one right there see it's just like a true red this one had more of like an orange undertone this is a true red so yeah so this is my whole swatch video 
Let me fix my lips. So I ended up just putting Julie on my lips. I really like it. It's like a nudie coral. I think this is my favorite for today. But yeah, I hope you guys love those live swatches. Let me know if you prefer these or if you just want music or anything like that. I want to know because I want to, you know, show you videos that you like as well. But I think kind of explaining the colors really helps just because I know what they look like in person. And again, formulation is wonderful. They are long wearing. Very creamy and moisturizing. It's worth the price point. The pack packaging is really sleek and it does fit in like lipstick holders sometimes people say is this too big for a lipstick holder it fits in them uh yeah so i hope you guys enjoy this video and give this a thumbs up if you enjoy lip swatches that are live or just lip swatches in general so i can do more lip swatch videos and also let me know down below what colors you have that i didn't maybe show or what colors were your favorite so i'll see you guys in my next video Mwah. Boop, boop.